Happy National Day, United Arab Emirates. Marhaba. My name is Teresa and I'm a tour guide in UAE living in Dubai. In December 2 of 1971, uh, the leaders of the Emirates of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Fujaira, Ajman and Um al Quaim gathered at Union House in Dubai to sign the declaration establishing the United Arab Emirates. The move followed the decision by the British government to withdraw uh, from a 19th century agreement that established um, this crucial state has a British um, protectorate. The Emirate of Ras al Khaimah uh, joined a year uh, later. Today, UAE celebrates the 49th birthday as a unified country. And I am at one uh, of the most important places, not just um, for Dubai, but for the country, um, the place where the Constitution of United Arab Emirates was signed by the rulers, the Union uh, House, as it is known historically. The amazing building you see uh, behind me is the Etihad Museum. The word Etihad means union in Arabic. If you come to Dubai, you cannot miss the visit to this masterpiece uh, of architecture. Etihad Museum opened uh, its doors in 2017 and offers the visitors um, the chance to learn about the contemporary history of United Arab Emirates. Located uh, next to the historic Union uh, House, where the original Union Agreement was, was signed, and the Guest Palace, uh, that was traditionally used by the ruler of Dubai, the late uh, Sheikh Rashid bin Said Al Maktoum, to welcome guests and dignitaries. Etihad Museum uh, honors the 1971 signing of the document that created the United uh, Arab Emirates and serves to preserve the memory of the place, of course. Much of the museum uh, is underground, including permanent um, galleries, theatres, even spaces and archival uh, facilities. But one of the features that makes it an exceptional architectural piece of artwork uh, is its design. The curving uh, shape of the museum, the museum's entrance pavilion, which looks towards the exterior of uh, Union House, and the 123 meters high pole bearing the UAE flag was inspired by the signing of the UAE's constitution by the rulers of the Emirates. Its ondulating um, curves represent the parchment upon which the unification agreement was written and its tapering gold columns represent the pens with which the document was signed. The museum's uh, exhibits and programs uh, show the chronological events that led um, to the foundation of the country um, and uh, the drafting of the nation's constitution from the perspective of its leaders. Historically significant objects from uh, 1968 to 1974, uh, as well as interactive um, videos and a holograph film are among the exhibits. Visitors can also browse the museum's library, uh, which has a collection of around 3,000 books uh, on the UAE's nati uh, national and social history. The visitors will find uh, quotations from the late uh, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayyan, recognized uh, as the founding father of the nation, uh, adorning the walls. Uh, among them are the words, thanks to our ancestors who challenge and the adversities of time and misfortunes of life due to their fortitude our generation uh, is living in prosperity and grace. The visitor will also see large portraits of the founders of the country uh, along with personal um, artifacts, an interactive uh, map and timeline of the nation and displays of military memorabilia. 
a copy of the Constitution uh, itself is also uh, on display, a virtual replica of the document uh, in both Arabic and in English uh, can be read um, by the visitors also. So let's go for our visit inside. Let's go to show you the Etihad uh, Museum. And we are uh, already outside and as I already mentioned inside the complex um, visitors will find uh, more two buildings the restored uh, oval shaped union house in the museum's ground uh, where the constitution was actually signed in 1971 Dar el Etihad uh, is the name in Arabic it's this house you see here and behind you have um, the guest palace is the third building in the complex the rulers met here uh, before um, signing the agreement. The palace houses the Sheikh Rashid's uh, private office, his majlis and the dining room with a capacity uh, to 300 uh, guests. Also on the outside, uh, a curious fact uh, that visitors will also observe is the re-establishment of the original 1971 shoreline of Jumeirah Beach which is represented by a reflecting uh, pool, as you see here. At that time, the landscape of this area was different uh, with the coast further uh, inland than we find today. And that's it, our visit is finished. Don't forget, while visiting uh, Dubai and United Arab Emirates, you must visit Etihad uh, Museum. I assure you that you will not regret, okay? I hope you enjoyed. Again, happy National Day, United Arab Emirates, and thank you for everything. To all of you, see you soon. Ma salama. <laughs>